Do you think that you've got to make a big, powerful, rotational, long golf swing to get the most amount of distance? Well, the thing is, about 90% of you who are watching this right now simply do not have the physical attributes to be able to do that consistently, without pain, and to get the results you want. There are so many golfers that have played elite level golf and good golf playing in the 70s and 80s with very short swings. Why? Because it is more efficient, it is easier to repeat, and it is kinder on the body. Now, at the moment, there's the likes of John Rahm, Tony Finau, very powerful long hitters. Arnold Palmer, in days gone by, had a short, powerful golf swing. And these are some of the best examples in the world. But I've helped thousands of golfers who either through physical limitations or just age experience in life struggle to make a full swing. It's not a bad thing. It can actually be a benefit and it can be a benefit to you if you know what's happening, if you know what to focus on and how to maximize your short swing. Turn your right foot out, okay? This is going to enable you to make an easier hip turn here, right? It's gonna be a little bit easier to turn the back towards the target with very little movement. That's okay if you can get through the ball well, right? If you struggle and find that you kind of push the arms out and end up sort of chicking, winging a little bit, and the swing looks something like this, okay? And then you're shoving the hips through. You'll be able to see from this line, we're sort of shoving the hips through. That might mean your, your general tendency is too tight on the left. So, you might be better served by pulling, instead of opening up the right foot, okay? You can still open it up a bit because that's gonna help. But by opening up either the left toe and even to the next level, pulling it back a little bit, okay? We're not opening the shoulders, we're not opening the hips, we're just opening the, the, the lower leg and the knee, just about three, two to three inches, okay? Something like that. That's what we're looking for here. So you should be able to see that nicely. And what's gonna happen there is as we swing through, we're almost cheating. We've kind of got a preset kind of impact position where the body is a little bit open, where the hands can just swing through with a lot less sort of resistance. Oh, if I exaggerate on the back swing, right, to sort of load up and get the hips sort of behind a little bit more if that's what you wanna feel. But we touched on the fact that by moving and slamming the heel down, it's really gonna generate and catch the ground a lot more to get superior power. To start that downswing, as we're still moving the energy after we've tossed it back to here, we are planning to slamming that heel down. And just with that intent alone, right, our um, body mass is gonna to move towards the target. But as you make that transition, feel like your belt buckle is pointing between the ball and your feet somewhere down here and as you come through. I promise you, that's gonna make a big difference to the quality and consistency of your strategy. Now, a lot of people think that they've gotta complete the backswing, then start the downswing. A fundamental change that I want to get across is the difference from starting your transition and downswing before the backswing is completed will add instant effortless yards. We're not rushing it. It doesn't mean you go like that, okay? It's gonna feel like a delay. So it's like I'm here and it's a delay. See that? So it's not, my club is there and then still as I'm moving this way, my club is still actually continuing a little bit further. In this series, we are covering the components of a short swing, and it covers the setup with irons and driver, the movement to start your swing, the takeaway, the backswing, but also finding the backswing that works for you. Then we're gonna get the most power and speed and effortless consistency 
with the transition and impact areas and you are going to be playing significantly better golf and have your best ball striking ever and that's a guarantee. Trust me, when you get this right, you will never look back. Whether you're a senior golfer or whatever level of golfer you are, this could be the answer you're looking for. Learn more below.